Let's apply some cushion grip to my upper and lower dentures. While the cushion grip is heating up, make sure your dentures are nice and dry. Cushion grip will need to heat up for five minutes. Make sure they are really, really dry. That's very important. And your hands. You'll want to keep a towel handy. I'm going to take the cushion grip out of the hot water and wipe it off on this towel I have sitting over here. It's been soaking for five minutes. Then I'm going to remove the cap. And I'm going to start with like a dime nickel size amount, about like that. Then I'm going to put the cap back on it, just like that, and toss it back in the water. Now I'm going to roll this in my hands and into a rope or a snake like this and apply it to my denture. Now you don't want to get too far back, close to the edges. Just want to get it all up in there and kind of push it down in there. And then get a little ball for the other side. Again, I'm going to take it out of the water, wipe it off so I don't get my hands wet, take the lid off, and this time I only need a little small ball to finish that lower. So maybe about like that. Okay, cap back on, and back in the water. Take this and roll it up. a little rope and get it in there just like that now for the lower denture I fill it up about two-thirds of the way full for the uppers I only do about halfway and the reason I do that is for this lower one um, once it cures um, it's going to spread and go over the sides of the denture and that will help to give like a suction type seal on the lower denture since you don't have that palate to suction to the roof of your mouth on your lower. Now on to the upper. Now here's where I have some tips that I think are really important. So let me get some more cushion grip. Take the cap off. Get about a nickel size on that. That was cool. And back in the water. All right, got a rope. Now on the upper, I do not cover the middle, the palate area. I only put it in the trough. And the reason being is because you don't really need it there because your gums don't shrink there. And what I'm trying to do is fill in that space. So this will keep it from sitting too bulky in your mouth and sitting lower in your mouth. You have that extra layer. All right, let me get some more. Wipe it off. Cap off. Get a bigger piece this time. Go about there. And you'll learn what amount is right for you and like how much you need for whatever part of your denture you have left to cover. All right, here we go. Again, you want to keep it away from the back edges a little bit because it is going to spread. And I just kind of mash it all up in there. Now take your finger and push it up against the edge a little bit on the inside, against that inside wall, like that. I need a little bit more right here. So I'm going to take out my cushion grip. Wipe it off, take off the lid. Get a little ball. I don't need much at all. That round. All right, back in the water. And this one I know right where it's going, so just kind of push it in there. A little bit and there you go now let them sit on the counter for five to ten minutes to help reduce the tingling sensation when you first put them in then after they sit for a few minutes you just put them in and bite down 
and I usually apply mine at night so that it can cure while I sleep. If you have any questions about Cushion Grip or your Cushion Grip application, feel free to message me on the website www.mycushiongrip.com and the little chat bubble in the bottom right hand corner.